Hello, my name is Toika and today I am going to show you how to create your custom pipe with custom properties. The easiest way is to open an existing part from SolidWorks library and save it under a name of your choice. From here you can make changes, for example, add material or remove any configuration that you don't need. You can delete the configuration from Excel file or from configuration window. I will want two columns for uh, internal and external diameter of pipe that I want to see in my bone. As you can see, the columns for properties start with the dollar symbol and the letters PRP followed by the add symbol and the name of the property. By default, Excel converts text to a hyperlink if it determines your data is an email address. I will remove the hyperlink and show you how to disable these options in Excel. This is an automatic correction task on the whole Excel application. Back to our project. When I hit Excel, SolidWorks recognized that I deleted the configuration. I'm going to use a simple formula to transfer the outside and inside diameter, diameter values to the property columns. Now I will open uh, Routing Library Manager and use the Component Wizard to check if I have all the required items and add the components to the database. After refreshing, we see our new pipe. We will check if our properties appear in BOM. In my pipe assembly, I will refer to the my new pipe. As you noticed, the piping subassembly name is in uh, parentheses because it is saved internally. It's the best way when designing. 
You can change this in the system options routing. When your design is finalized, you must save your pipe assemblies as external file to be able to make the manufacturer drawing. You have the options to save only the subassembly or a subassembly and parts. We will check if our properties will appear in the bomb. Also, I want uh, material properties in my bone, but I forgot to create these properties. I will uh, modify my library pipe and also uh, parts in my subassembly. I will add material property. But for the next time, I do not need to do that because my pipe library will have these properties added. I hope you enjoyed our video and have a wonderful day. See you next time.